Are y'all ready for some football? Let's go. Highpotgames.com. This your boy Warren G. Let's go. All right. Okay, so let's let's talk first off. Uh, all right, congratulations, guys. Good win. That was an awesome play. Who? Now tell me, tell me about the tackle. Who? Which? What is your name? Philip. Philip, and you? Jerry. Jerry. All right, tell me. That was that was NFL stuff, man. What happened? I wrapped him up, and Joey came out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of just got down the line, got through the blockers, okay. tried to find the ball. All right. So, um, I'll pull it onto well, well, nice job. Now, you're the guy that picked up the ball. You're the lucky 13, right? Yes, sir. Now, tell me about that. Um, when I first um, thought to tackle, I thought he was already down and on the ground. And the, I didn't see the ball until one guy moved out of the way and I decided to pick it up. Well, awesome. Right, best play of the week. Congratulations, guys. All right. Welcome back to High Pod Highlights, Season 2. I'm your host, Jen Nicolaisen. We're absolutely thrilled to be filming some of the most exciting football in the country. This season's already shaping up with some major rivalries and breakout stars. We'll get to the first week's breakdowns in just a moment. But first, let's take care of some football business. Coaches, don't forget to submit your plays so that you'll be eligible for Play of the Week and win $50 towards your after game party. Send your nominations to highpodplays at gmail.com. Good luck. Now, let's take a look at some of the results from last week's games. In the Junior Mighty Might Division, Santa Margarita Mustangs lost to Yorba Linda Jets 0-20. Saddleback Valley Bears beat Santa Ana Monarchs 13-6. Moving into the Mighty Might Division, Yorba Linda Longhorns lost to South Coast Tritons 12-32. The Anaheim Gold Rams lost to Saddleback Valley Gold Bears, 0-32. Santa Ana Monarchs beat the La Mirada Blue Matadors, 20-0. Huntington Beach Green Chargers beat the Tustin Black Cobras, 13-6. Junior Pee Wee Division. Palos Verdes Chargers beat Carson Ravens, 32-0. Santa Margarita Blue Titans beat Santa Ana Monarchs, 30-0. La Habra White Lions lost to Hawaiian Gardens Warriors, 0-25. Canyon Hills Cougars lost to Los Alamitos Griffins, 6-25. East LA Bulldogs lost to Yorba Linda Cowboys, 0-28. Pasadena Red Trojans beat the Norwalk Raiders, 32-0. In the Pee Wee Division, Los Alamitos Griffins beat Saddleback Valley Wolverines, 32-0. Fullerton Blue Titans beat Santa Margarita Stallions, 36-6. Costa Mesa Silver Eagles beat Los Alamitos Blue Griffins, 20-18. In the Junior Midget Division, Los Alamitos Red Griffins beat Downey Mustangs, 32-0. La Mirada Sun Devils beat Los Alamitos Griffins, 29-0. Santa Margarita Eagles lost to Santa Ana Monarchs, 0-24. In the Midget Division, Santa Margarita Mustangs beat Cypress Centurions 27-0. Costa Mesa Black Eagles beat Huntington Beach Chargers 32-6. Remember, this show is brought to you and shot by HiPod using the 17-foot mobile unit. More information at HiPod.com. Check it out. Now, what you've been waiting for. Top 10 plays. Number 10. We're starting this week's countdown with a bang. Hawaiian Gardens Junior Pee Wee Warriors got their season started with an opening kickoff return touchdown. The kick returner bobbles the ball for a second but gets a hold of it and it's off to the races. The team never looked back going on to win that game 25-0. Way to start your season Warriors. Number 9. The Santa Margarita Junior Pee Wee Mustangs found themselves in a tight battle with the Huntington Beach Chargers. This incredible 65-yard touchdown run by Santa Margarita tailback number 17 gave his team the lead once again in this seesaw battle. Number 8. 
Los Alamitos Griffins running back number three takes this run to the house with a little razzle-dazzle as he weaves and bobs his way through some traffic on his way to a 55-yard touchdown. Watch him go, folks. Coming in at number seven. Number 22 for the Saddleback Mighty Mike Gold Bears finds room in the middle of the field to take the ball downtown and help his team to a big win over the Anaheim Gold Rams. Mighty Mike or Mighty Awesome? Number six. Santa Ana quarterback number 12 gives the clean dump off pass to the tight end number 27 for an explosive 80 yard run to pay dirt. Nice pass, nice catch, nice run. That's a touchdown, folks. Coming in at number five, Santa Margarita's linebacker number two steps in front of the opposing wide receiver number two and takes the ball 60 yards to touchdown country. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough to hold back the blue tight. Play number four, a perfectly executed reverse play by the Santa Margarita Mustangs sent speedy number 11 to its first touchdown of the season. It wasn't quite enough for the win, but who doesn't love a great trick play, win or lose? You get yours, Santa Margarita. Number three, Santa Margarita running back number one rockets past the La Mirada defense Loading up the middle for a huge 43-yard TD run. The Matadors went on to win the game 20-0 and start their season with a big W. Number two, Pasadena tailback number three uses teamwork and a great, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, great stiff arm to make his way into the 2012 highlight season with this fantastic 27-yard run. Good job, Red Trojans. And number one, an incredible game-winning defensive effort. Huntington Beach defense wrecks the ball carrier, causing a fumble that's quickly picked up by lucky number 13 and run in for the game-winning touchdown. Congratulations, Huntington Beach Mighty Mike Green Chargers. You just won Play of the Week. What a way to cap off our first 2012 Top 10 playlist. We look forward to seeing all the excitement to come this season. Remember, any of these games are available for $9.99 at HighPodGames.com. So parents, coaches, and grandma, you can get a copy. Games are delivered via email for download within 24 hours of your purchase. Okay, high tech grandma. Now let's hand it off to Rick for the HighPod Playbook. Hello, I'm Enrique Morales, president of HighPod. I'm here to introduce the HighPod Playbook this week. In addition to introducing this part of the show, I'm also here to introduce our guest coach. Coach Cruz will be analyzing an offensive and a defensive play for us. So coach, welcome Thanks. and go to it. Right. Hello everybody, this is Coach Cruz and we're gonna break down this awesome offensive play. First of all, this play is gonna be called a 26 power and that is where the two back is gonna get the six hole which is just outside the tackle over here. Now, he's gonna need a host of blockers to create space over here so that he can get upfield. Let's see what he does with this play. Okay, so here we see that the hole was created perfectly, right where he had to go. He took a step in there and then noticed, uh-oh, he's got a defender in there, so something's gotta happen. How about a little team effort to make this thing come clean? We'll see what he does with this opportunity. Oh yeah, there's a great stiff arm. Now if we can hold here. Now over here, he needed one more help. This is the next guy, this guy was gonna take him out. He had clear angle on him, but over here, his teammate gets a great crack block on him. Next thing you know, kid's on the ground, Pain Angel, touchdown time, let's go. And oh, one more stiff arm, he's in the house. Good job, number three. And now for our defensive play. One of the most crucial parts of defense is outside contain. That's outside the box. So now you're gonna take players and you're gonna assign them to sit in little spots just outside so that the running backs, if they attempt to go outside, they have to double back and go inside where all the trouble is. 
Let's see how Huntington Beach handles their outside contain on this play. Run it. Okay, let's pause right here. Okay, here you got a nice perfect shift towards the outside by the entire team, making it almost impossible for this kid to get upfield in any way. He's got to go outside and dump back inside, and that bad things can happen when that goes down. Go ahead. Here we got a great scoop and score by number 13, puts himself in great position, and you can see by the sheer numbers that Huntington Beach has got outside contain all sewed up. This is gonna be six, folks. And that's a great job of outside contain and exactly what can happen if you do it right. All right, so that's the playbook for this week. Join us next week for more in-depth analysis. In the meantime, back to you, Jen. That's all for this week. Special thanks to Warren G for his awesome support. We love you, Warren. We'll be out shooting this Saturday, September 1st, all across Southern California. If you see one of our guys on the field, come say hi. And be sure to tune in next time for more from HighPawGames.com.